Agent Squad. Welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool armor um, here, and basically what this is, is an inflated thermometer. And for this one in particular, it does allow you guys to use it on your body. There are some of them that you should not use it on your body. So I've been see for the one that we got right here from this brand. And then here is basically what the pot looks like. And if you guys turn to the back part here, they do probably got some specs and features on the pot. But first, I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. So once you guys take it out, here is basically what the inside looks like. So right here, they do probably got the user manual and a quick starter guide to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And then right here, you can see they do probably got the battery that you put inside, which are two AAA battery. And then right here, you can see we do have the actual panel. So for the battery, you do have the option to use your own if you guys do want to, or you can use the one that's right here. But first thing, let's take out the product first. All right, so once you guys take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. So right here on top, you can see we do have the brand logo. Right here, you can see we do have a few button. So there's basically a set button, a memo button, and a mold button. Right here in front is basically where you guys want to aim it onto your body or anywhere else to check the temperature. Right here in the bottom is basically the button you guys want to press to activate it. And then right here is the display screen. On the bottom right here, you can see we do have a little logo. And the very bottom right here is basically where you guys can put in the battery. And then for this part right here, it's basically where you guys can grip it to use actual pana. So that is basically everything that's on the pana. Let me actually open the bottom to put in the battery first. So basically you want to put in two AAA battery inside. And they do label on here to let you guys know which side to put it on, plus and minus. So just like that. So let's pull it back up. If you guys press the button right here, you can see it does turn on. And you probably want to peel off this part right here first, if it's the first time using it. But you can see here is basically what the screen looks like. So that show you guys what you guys are using on here, whether it's body, Fahrenheit, and etc. So if you guys press the mode, you have to change from body to surface. And if you guys press on the second button right here, that is basically the memory button. And if you guys press the first button, that basically turns it off and on for the set option. So if you guys do try it yourself, and you can see how fast it does give you guys the result on here. So currently it's showing that I'm 97.5, so I am normal. So the product definitely does work if you guys do use it on yourself. But the cool thing about this product is the fact that not only can you guys use it on yourself, but you do have the option to use it for like food or cooking or anything else. If you guys notice on the product, it does show Fahrenheit. If you guys want to change it to Celsius, you basically want to press and hold the set button for three seconds. All right, so once you guys get to this screen right here, you basically want to press on these two buttons. And then see it changes to Celsius. If you guys want to change it back, you have to press again. And now it's at Fahrenheit. So very easy and very simple for you to change the unit. And it's definitely really cool how it does give you guys a fast result when you guys do use it as well. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now that we come unboxing and testing product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality inflated thermometer, like the one that we have right here, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.